What's up guys, Tide here and today I'm going to show you how to sync machine 2.0 into a tractor. So basically with personal experience I noticed that machine 2.0 isn't as good as the machine 1.0 versions when it comes to syncing MIDI. So I'm going to try to explain it as best I can. So if you haven't seen the other tutorials on YouTube uh, Ian Golden has a really good one explaining how to sync machine to tractor. So the basic gist of it is to make sure that you go to tractor, go to control manager, make sure you add a generic MIDI, put output tractor, output to tractor virtual output. Close that. Then go to machine, go to file, audio MIDI settings, make sure the device selected is tractor control S2MK2 or S4, or whatever version you have. Then go to MIDI, make sure you have tractor virtual output on and tractor control S2MK2 input on. For the outputs, just leave that all off as well as everything else all off on the inputs. Press OK. Go to Machine. Make sure you select Sync to External MIDI Clock. Oh, and one more thing for Machine 2.0. Go to Preferences. I put the Sync Offset Slave to 100 because it just seems like it works better at that number for whatever reason. I know some people say different numbers depending on what version of machine you have, but I prefer having it at 100. So close that, and also make sure you have the sync on for a tractor. Uh, let's try it out. Also, one more thing. The way I incorporate machine into my sets is that I'll mix it in as if you were mixing a track in. So I have the volume all the way off at zero, and I mix it in slowly using the volume button. You can actually prepare all of this beforehand, but it's a lot better than doing it on the fly. It takes a little bit more work, but it's worth it. So let's give it a try. The track I'm going to be using is DJ Q's West Coast Swagger. Swagger. Ugh, I can't talk today. And I have pre-made loops on machine. So I might mess up the first time. So let's see how it goes. What I like to do is I like to press the play button like during a breakdown, maybe about eight beats before. Uh, I'll just show you. Okay, so you have a breakdown. I'll press play around here, and right one to drop, press sync. Let's see if it works. As you can hear, it's already kind of off. So let's try it again. Uh, let's try a different song. Let's see. So many songs to choose from. Let's try Generation 303 by Nicky Romero. Put the volume at zero. Let's try it out. As you can hear now, it's actually synced in.
So I have a pre-made melody, um, it's actually I think 1999 old trans song playing so you can actually do like melodies over breakdowns and even mashups on the fly if you make your melodies and loops beforehand. So there you go. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or message me directly. I hope I explained it as clear as I could. I know I suck at explaining things, but <laughs> I figure it's better to just show it on hand than, you know, to type it down. So like my video if you like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks, guys. Laters.